Hello everyone and welcome to my videos of a workshop for making, repairing, and restoring wood dolls. My name is Lynn Nelvin and I host my website and these videos on the Mountain Artisans LLC. Okay, as I showed you a moment ago, I do have quite an arsenal of tools that I have uh, gathered uh, together for making and repairing my wood dolls. Um, I'd like to start with my uh, most favorite of, of tools. And these are hand tools. They are readily available. They're easy to use and uh, very indispensable when doing doll, uh, wood dolls. This is a cordless hand drill. As you can see, I have a good size bit on there for larger holes, but I can put with the adapter smaller bits. Right, and it is cordless, char rechargeable, and I find it indispensable for putting the holes in the uh, dowels uh, for the arms and the legs and uh, through the torso, and we'll go through all that later. A Dremel. Most everyone I know uh, is familiar with the Dremel. Dremel also very versatile, has a, a lot of <clears throat> parts heads that you can put on. Here I have a, a saw blade and of course I could be using these little uh, sanding uh, pieces to make the features on the face and we'll show you how to do that later. Another favorite tool that I got is also a small oscillating sander. Now this sander, it, uh, the head vibrates and is really indispensable for uh, sanding uh, smaller pieces. Also you can attach like a, a saw blade on the end of that. Uh, it has a variety of heads that you can use. Uh, for, but for me I use it mostly for the sanding. Made by when. Okay, over here, and I'll be showing you how to use this in the first video on doll making, is a what they call a chop saw. And what it does is it allows you to cleanly uh, cut dowels. And this will be making a lot of dowels, uh, cutting a lot of dowels for arms and legs for a doll. Uh, this really goes fast, it's accurate, gives a nice clean cut. tub of sandpaper, wire, screwdriver, and this I can't say enough about a head face mask. Pieces are flying off all the time when you're sanding or drilling so I really advise you to get a good face mask that will take uh, with a good percussion plastic face uh, that will protect your eyes and the rest of your face. Okay, so there we go. So, the next video we'll uh, show you some of the smaller dolls that we will start to make. Hope you'll join me then. Welcome everyone to this next segment of my series, Making and Restoring Wood Dolls. In my previous video, I showed you all the major equipment that I gathered, the tools and supplies needed to make wood dolls. Uh, in this video, however, I wanted to show you a couple of the projects that I completed with just using a Dremel, a wood carving knife, uh, a wood press, and a little help from my hubby uh, on his scroll saw. You can see here I started with a wood cone and head doll. You can buy these online or in any good craft store. I decided however to 
put arms and legs on the basic wood base to make it seem more like a doll. Here is my Snow Queen with her rather elaborate snowflake headdress, painted face, her hair. I drill pressed a hole at the base of the head through the shoulder area, inserted a pipe cleaner and ran a series of pearls and a crystal on the pipe cleaner to make the arms and hands. Down here you can see I attached dowels and little cup feet to make the legs, the lower uh, limbs. And I'll show you later how we did that um, to the base of the wood cone doll that I showed you before. Here is a shot of my steampunk doll and she has a headdress made of clock parts, a spring and gear, painted face, armatures, arms, all in gold to match her brass doll part gears, and her feet, springs, and also metal clock parts. To their right is my Wood Sprite doll. Painted face. She has wooden hands, little cup hands. And little wooden feet. In this group are my wood dolls inspired by the old English jointed dolls, also made in Germany in the late 1800s, early 1900s. Here's my first attempt. She's more of a mannequin doll. I decided not to use legs on her, but put her on a decorative doll on a vase. Her head is made from a wood egg with some features carved out, painted hair. Her top knot is made of poly polymer clay, Sculpey. She has jointed shoulders, elbows. This is the mortise and tenon joint. We'll talk more about that later carved out torso and her hands are what they call cup hands. Show them. To her right is the full bodied wooden doll starting from the top, very similar, carved and painted features, painted hair, polymer clay top knot, her shoulders jointed, elbows again using the mortise and tenon joint with a wire through to hold the joint together. The hip is jointed. Here in the knees you can see closer the mortise and tenon, tenon joints and the wooden shoes. Next to her, I just put a dowel on a wooden spool. Be an easy way to start to make a doll with just maybe just the head and arms. At their feet are the various parts. And we'll be going over how to make these and assemble them into the full doll. 
To the left is the torso that was scrolled out on a scroll saw. And you can see the holes were drilled at the shoulder area. We would put a piece of wood through there and attach it, jointing it to the upper arms. These are the components of the limbs. You can see the mortise and tannin joint. And the hands are very rough, just hand carved out. But I'll use a Dremel to finish them, smooth them out, to make the cup hands. And here's the head I started, carving it out, carve out more features with the Dremel, and then paint the head. I'll be posting pictures of these dolls and others that I make and restore on my website, which is Caskill Dolls at WordPress.com, and also on my Facebook page, Lynn Nalvin. And I hope you join me for my next video where I start to carve out and make these individual dolls, and I'll show you how to do that. Until then, Happy dolling. Bye.